What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Modern Warfare 2v2 Alpha. Today I'm going to talk about some things that I don't like about the Alpha or the game in general. Now, just be aware I really have enjoyed it. I've played for tons of hours over the last few days, but there are things that I don't like, so I guess this will be kind of constructive criticism. And in the next few days I'm going to make a video about the things that I do like. And in my opinion, no game is ever perfect to any person. Everybody has their own opinions. These are just things I don't like. And also be aware that the developers have addressed a lot of this stuff that I'm about to talk about and so they're looking at it so hopefully it will change and also this was an alpha um, this gameplay is probably you know th this build is probably five six months old so a lot of things will be different even in the beta and of course in the final release but everybody has their own opinion like I said so the first thing that I really want to talk about that I do not like that I think most of the community kind of agrees with is the gray screen when taking damage I think this is the worst thing they have ever had in any game it kind of distorts everything. You can't see anything very well. These maps are kind of hard to pick out people anyway if they're not moving. So that gray screen makes that even worse and the sound gets distorted. I think overall that needs to be looked at and changed to be back kind of like that normal damage that you used to have. It could, it, I guess the sound could stay distorted if it wanted to or if they wanted to do that. But just take the gray screen away. I think that is horrible. There's no ADS sensitivity. Now they did state that this will be added to the game. It may not be on release, but it, they're looking at adding it. And I feel horizontal and vertical is kind of old school. You know, it does not feel as fluid as, it, as having ADS sensitivity settings as well. When you have horizontal, ADS, and vertical sensitivity options, it makes you kind of feel like you're more in control of what your movement is. So hopefully that will be added soon. I don't know, like I said, if it will be in the beta. They said they're looking into it. So I'm assuming probably on release or a little bit after release. But luckily and hopefully that will be added soon. And I'm glad they are looking at it. Um, also, the 2v2 mode, just kind of in general, I know it's not for everyone. While I have really enjoyed it, it just kind of gives us an idea, in my opinion, of kind of what the guns are going to be like, what the weapons are going to feel like, uh, what the movement's going to be. But I know a lot of people just don't enjoy 2v2, and that's very understandable. And I know a lot of people out there are saying they don't want to play the game, they think the game's not good. Well, I can understand that. I'm really going to wait and kind of make my, you know, full opinion when the beta is released when I can play multiplayer because that's what I'm really looking forward to like I said I have enjoyed the alpha but I'm really looking forward to playing the beta playing regular multiplayer but this did give us an idea like I said of what's going on and the one thing that I did notice was the movement the movement does feel a little bit sluggish now while this may be just because the build is older or it's back to that older style kind of movement we've been used to playing faster paced Call of Duties over the last several years so this could be the reason but like I said it may just be the build but hopefully they will fix the movement a little bit. I don't want it to be too crazy fast, but at the same time, I want the ADS from Sprint to be a little bit better. It just feels kind of slow and clunky at times. But overall, I think the movement was decent. It just needed a little bit of tweaks here and there. Uh, the other thing, of course, was a video I made yesterday was about footstep sounds. I'm not going to go really in-depth to that. If you want to watch that video, I'll pop it up in the top right corner right now, and you can check that out. They have confirmed footstep sounds are being looked at. I don't want them to be too overpowering, but I do think footstep sounds from enemies need to be there. You need to be able to hear them because there's going to be no minimap. But the main thing is your teammate and or your teammates and yourself. Those footstep sounds are way too loud. I hope they tone that down. They said they're going to be looking at this and it should be uh, ready to go when the beta comes out. The next thing that I, I think that really is a concern, and this is going to be the last kind of thing I talk about, is the all the aim assist settings. Now there's aim assist and target assist. Well, how this works, aim assist is usually for single player or zombies or co-op, and target assist is for multiplayer. Now the developers have stated that both of these, aim assist and target assist, will be, be able to use, or be able, you'll be able to use them in multiplayer. So it's not going to be like one's for single player and one's for multiplayer. And this has concerned a lot of people because some of the aim assist settings seem a bit overpowered. They did say some of them aren't working correctly in the beta. What I'm hoping is like that last one, I can't remember. I think it's what experimental is what it's called. I might be wrong on that. I know one's enhanced and one's experimental, but one of them seems to be like it gives you almost that near miss aim assist. I'm hoping this is going to be for a, a setting maybe if you're playing in a PC lobby against keyboard and mouse style players. I'm hoping that's what it's for, to give you a little bit more aim assist so you can keep up with those keyboard and mouse players. I'm hoping all of these aim assist settings are not going to be available in standard multiplayer. If they are, that could be a big issue for me and I'm sure a lot of the rest of the community. 
hopefully when the beta comes out, we'll get to hear a bit more about that. But anyway, guys, leave me your opinions. Let me know what you like or don't like down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you click the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.